Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hey, what's up my fellow geek gals and geek guys? Welcome to this MP1 shot. Today we're gonna to be looking at uh, something uh, Super 7 and something Super 7 related. I picked up a package yesterday and uh, I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. And I opened it and I was surprised to find that, well, before we get to that, let's get to what I just got today from BBTS, Super 7 Lion-O. I'm late to the party, um, but uh, thankfully BBTS had my back and uh, I was able to get this Lion-O from Super 7. So um, there we go. Uh, before we get into opening that up though, um, let me take this out of the way. This is the package that uh, I got in the mail yesterday and um, was surprised and happy to find that while I did know it was shipping, I didn't know it was gonna be here so soon. Ramen Toy, Silverhawks, Quicksilver. That's right, look at that. In hand. Some decent packaging here. Uh, no fanfare. It was just uh, had its address label on the top and, uh, and that was it. No Ramen Toy logo or anything. So I got this on pre-order. Um, I'd like to think that that was a good deal, and uh, I am excited to have Quicksilver. I never had the Silverhawks as toys as a kid. I was kind of torn. I mean, I liked the Silverhawk show, and I thought the toys looked cool with their uh, vac metalized bodies and stuff like that, but I also thought they were kind of cheesy. Um, but here you go, Ramen Toy, under license, uh, officially for Silverhawks through Super 7, has made this amazing Quicksilver. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. But first, let me just do a quick reveal of uh, Lion-O, which is directly from Super 7. So let's get that guy open. Huh, Warner Brothers. I didn't know they owned Thundercats. Ooh, nothing left in the box. Look at this. This is, oh man, this is, this is a box of beauty. Look at that shine. Wow. Okay, that is impressive. Uh, top of the box has got some discoloration on it for some reason. Not sure why that is. I don't know if you can really tell. I can see it, but uh, there we go. Um, a little bit of scuffing or something there, but overall, look at that. Very cool. And then I guess this is a slip cover. <laughs> there he is. Lion O from Super 7. So if you're still wanting Lion O, check out BBTS. I'm not getting paid by them to say that, but that's where I was able to find mine, even though I think Tidarium Hanger was saying, saying something like um, they're hard to find now. Um, and or I was just watching some video about the Thundercat stuff. And um, if you've seen recently the reveal of their, um, what is it, Mount something Lion-O where he's blue, and then once he, uh, once he gets warmed up, he uh, changes more his regular colors, but otherwise he's also got a frozen face. So if you're not able to get this one, then you can probably get your Lion-O in that form. This is not gonna be a review of Lion-O, this is going to be checking out Quicksilver. There you go. Okay, and this is the box that they showed on um, Facebook in this video. Hey guys, just a quick update on the box of Quicksilver. That's how it's going to look like on the side and the back. The bottom. And you got a window on the top for light to come down to shine on Quicksilver as he's in the blister. Nice, uh, you know, brushed silver finish on the box. With the head of Quicksilver as a white line art on the front, which looks kind of cool, isn't it? 
That's it for me. There's the window there to let light in from the top so you get some illumination of the character that way. Silverhawks on the bottom. Nice. Look at this, this shiny, shiny box. I love it. Very, very cool. And there you go, the official partnership of Ramen Toy and Super 7. And if you don't know what Ramen Toy is, go check them out at ramentoy.com. They've got uh, Monstar coming. You can see the prototype image here. And then here's uh, an example of what it's supposed to look like in the box. But they've also got uh, up and coming a line of, and I don't know if they're not being official with this uh, license or what, but they're calling it Makina. Um, but it's their um, homage to Mask, the, the Mask cartoon and toys. They've got the Gullwing coming out and um, the shark or something like that. Um, they're working on those anyway. Um, as you might have known if you've been following Ramen Toys, the 80s Commanders, their version of the Centurions, they were trying to do this special edition, what, John Apache or something like that, uh, some specialty toy that never got actually produced beyond the prototype um, in the original line, and they just couldn't get enough takers for it. So that didn't happen. So I suppose everything that they're going to produce is kind of going to be, you know, stuck with that proviso that everybody has to actually be interested in putting money down on it, or, or at least a certain number of people do, in order for it to make sense for them to, to produce it, you know? Makes sense. Uh, but we have gotten Quicksilver, and Monstar is supposed to be out, what, uh, this month, August? We've got a sticker here to open it up. So let's just get that. All right, and he is covered in there. Cool Starfield background. And this just slips off, I guess, so no tape. Got that uh, protective sleeve. And here we've got him. Quicksilver and Tallyhawk. And Tallyhawk just fell off. That's okay. Ugh. I don't want to be too grabby grabby. So, slipping out of my hands here. Look at that. Holy moly. Yeah, this is going to be uh, definitely cool to have on my shelf. Tally Hawk. So he's got this magnet system. There you go on his forearm and uh, magnets on the bird's feet here as you can see here in this prototype video that they released on Facebook. So, same magnetism applies, and... Wow, but I guess it's not that strong. Uh-oh. Okay, guys. Oh, that's not cool. Uh-oh. Robin Toy. Don't make a, a thing and then not let it be a thing. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, he's got a curve to his arm, so I guess claws do need to fit right, and you need to line up those uh, magnets. So there you go. Tallyhawk and Quicksilver. All right, let's do a little bit of articulation here. So we've got his head, which can look down. Good amount. Let's put down these arms here. He can look a little bit up. Um, he can cock his head. Nice. He can swivel. 360, in case you want him to be possessed. Um, ooh, these shoulder pauldrons lift up. And they are hinged on here somehow. Arms are not going to go 360 around because of those. But... I guess they probably can swivel 360 around because they're just on this. Uh, well, maybe not. Anyway, all the way back, all the way forward. Um, uh, only single elbow joint, or is that double? Is there a double? Oh, come on, let there be a double. Let's see if I swivel. Oh, okay. So, and there goes that pauldron. 
Um, but that elbow can be moved further than just 90. You just have to move the actual elbow joint. And even then, that slides, but that doesn't mean that the forearm really can get beyond the bicep. So you can definitely do a cool uh, check out my muscles pose. But as far as like, you know, folding up on, on himself, um, not so much. He's got this bicep swivel, which is really cool. He's got this wrist swivel. And of course, I guess he should because I believe these hands just pop off or some such. He has this somewhat of a somewhat some movement in his chest there. He's got a little bit of hip movement. Not a huge amount. Maybe I need to just be a little bit more forceful, but I don't want to ruin the paint or anything. Um, so he can do that ab crunch. There you go. You can stand up straight, ab crunch it, feet, <laughs> leg pops off, uh, but thankfully it's just that little peg. And oh no, Ooh, I hope this isn't bad manufacture. Uh, I got some, I got some like debris or something in here. You see that? Um, okay, I just kind of, yeah, knocked it out, I guess. But there we go. Um, doesn't look like it's really, like it's broken, but uh, that hollow there has to be where the peg goes. Okay, so it does peg back on easily. Um, legs can splay out. They don't, well, they'll go into a sitting position after a fashion. So if they ever do come out with the uh, Mirage, and you want him to be the pilot, then I suppose he might actually be able to be the pilot. Um, knee bend. There we go. His leg can only go back so far because of that thigh and his butt. And how about this kneecap? Does this do the same thing as the elbow? Eh, that's pretty much what you get. You get 90 degrees. There you go. And you get, if you throw the leg out sideways, you get a little bit further back. But otherwise, he doesn't really throw that leg back much. Um, that's right, 90 degree bend. That leg just came off again. <laughs> um, he's got an ankle rocker. Somewhat. Yeah, he's got a little ankle rocker there. That's good. Um, toe tilts down. Not so much. Can it tilt up? Okay, so it does kick up a little bit. There's not a whole lot of tilt up and tilt down out of this. There is some. Uh, and then the shoe, I believe, actually does. There we go. You get the toe, so now you can do a stepping motion. So that is cool, foot flex. All right, so there he is, Quicksilver. And that pauldron looks like it's just a little ball peg thing there. So I'm just going to pop this back on. And that's how that hinges. All right, Tally Hawk. Let's see, these wings, uh, you know, you, in order to uh, articulate these characters, you got to take parts off and stuff, I believe, which is actually kind of a bummer because I'm not seeing any instructions. Um, so I'm not sure if Tally Hawk's wings are supposed to spread by themselves. Um, they're supposed to just pop off. So I guess I'll have to figure that out. Um, or, but look at that. Detail on this looks pretty cool. All right, some of these little accessories. We've got two sets of hands here. We've got the outstretched hands. We've got the flying or saluting hands. Whichever way that's supposed to go. Yeah, there we go. 
No, that would be my thumbs on backwards. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Those are cool. We've got his Silverhawks uh, in space helmet face. So we can change out his face that way. And it looks like it's a, a magnet system. So let's try that right now. Ooh, creepy. And then that just, ooh, cool. You see that? That was, there we go. <laughs> so that's a good, nice, uh, strong magnet there. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, bay, ding. Just popped right off his neck. Oh, my gosh. Um, so the neck doesn't do much as far as this collar is getting in the way of him, like, looking up. Um, you know, as if he were going to fly. So he can't really look up ahead of him. That's a bummer. Um, I'd like, you know, if he could like be flying and looking where he's going, that would be good. But it doesn't seem to be part of the articulation here. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, as you guys check out your copies of this guy. Um, let the rest of us fans know what I've, uh, discovered and haven't discovered and what I'm wrong about and what I'm, uh, um, yeah, what I'm wrong about. So there we go. Quicksilver. Does he stand? He does stand. There we go. That's cool. Um, he's got his, what I'm assuming are his wings. That attach along his arm and side here in these little grooves. So yes. That tab, that tab. Maybe, yeah, there we go. I was hoping that these would be um, like foil wings, uh, some kind of, you know, fabric so that you could actually leave them attached. Maybe he could reach, you know, he could, you could slam his arm down and it could uh, attach and then you can bring it up, but oh well. Um, and then he's got, I guess, his, what, glider wings, if he wants to have this shorter, um, um, the shorter, uh, this, uh, what am I trying to say? If he just wants to have the glide. And so that still goes in the same tabs. Huh, it's not wanting to go in this slot here. Wow. Okay. Might be just that uh, I'm trying to do it on camera, and so I'm a little bit nervous about it. See, that fits. And then the side here, that fits. The bummer is, is that the contour there for his belt um, doesn't match for that wing. So either I've got it backwards, uh, or you know I've got it on the opposite side that it's supposed to be, but as uh, you were seeing, I was having trouble getting uh, these two tabs especially the one here at his bicep in there. So two different sets of wings. And then Tally Hawk's wings, which somehow must, uh, these must pop off and these must pop on, I guess. And I'm not sure how that works. Um, don't want to destroy my Tally Hawk right off the bat, so I'm going to leave that for now. And um, if anybody out there understands how Tallyhawk's supposed to get his wings, let me know because uh, that is one thing that is bu a bummer about this set here is that there are no instructions that are included. So that's a little bit of a fail. Um, and there's nothing on the package that indicates how that's supposed to happen. So there you go. Quicksilver, it's gonna look good on my shelf. Um, got Monstar supposedly coming on the way and um, I'll review that when I get it. One quick note, I did have a problem with the magnet system uh, in the head. After I stopped rolling the camera, I took the faceplate off of uh, Quicksilver and the magnet that's in set in the head part actually came out with the faceplate magnet. Um, so apparently it wasn't glued in or wasn't glued in well. So I tried to glue it in myself, and uh, I did so, but uh, in doing so, uh, I misplaced it twice. 
uh, uh, so that actually it repels the face plates now. This is a problem and I've reached out to Ramen Toy to see if they can get me a replacement head uh, for my Quicksilver. So FYI, be careful of that. If you do actually um, have a similar problem, make sure you mark which side is the positive so you can identify one side to the other because I thought I had put it in right the second time and again, it was wrong. So um, just FYI, if you have a magnet that's not actually glued in, then uh, be careful if you try to glue it in yourself. And that's it. Thanks for joining me for this MP1 shot, looking at uh, Ramen Toys licensed uh, version of Silverhawks, licensed through Super 7. And if you're interested, uh, check them out online. Um, they were advertising that they still had a few units left uh, yesterday, which was the 8th of August. Um, if not, you know, check your favorite uh, entertainment uh, toy retailer and uh, maybe they'll have some copies. All right, until next time, happy collecting, everybody.